Guys, it is time. It is the video you've all been waiting for. In this video, we're doing a part two of we did an original video of why girls like Damon Salvatore. In this video, we are going to be turning into Damon Salvatore. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so you guys absolutely blew up and loved the last video we did on Damon Salvatore. And if you don't know, Damon Salvatore is a character from the Vampire Diaries. Super popular. Here's a little bit of just of my favorite scenes of him. So yeah, he's a pretty dope ass guy who's just killing it. Killing people too. So and I, everyone's been requesting me to do a part two, do another video. So I decided I'm going to sit down. I'm going to do another video. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys and turning myself into Damon Salvatore. And that's going to really require three things. I'm going to be getting in the body, the physical transformation of Damon Salvatore, dressing like Damon Salvatore, and the personality of Damon Salvatore. Third one being the hardest, obviously. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. And then hopefully you can get close to Damon Salvatore as you want. But before we actually get on with the video, I want you guys to know if I'm, if you guys are watching this, if you're returning viewers or new viewers, it really helps me out if you subscribe to the channel. Let me know what other characters you want me to see, do want me to do these type of videos on. Let me know what videos you want to see in general. Are really genre that we I make videos on are fitness, fashion, lifestyle, and check out my Instagram, Danny Alam underscore all in the bio right over here it really helps me out with you guys supporting um we're growing pretty fast so i want to take this up a notch this i really want to do this as a career doing it as road to movie star as we're making this whole channel about so without further ado let's get on with the video moving on to the dressing portion of damon salvatore firstly we're going to talk about hair he's always groomed always clean shaven so we're going to have to do a clean shave later on so get on that if you grow hair really fast it's going to be a pain but clean shave next i already got this and if you're i know a lot of asian people watch me if you're asian and watching this you already got the dark hair Damon has dark hair, even though Ian Sommelherder, I'm pretty sure, dyed his hair because he has like a light brown, dark brown hair color, so he dyed it black. So you gotta dye your hair black, preferably something long. You gotta have a long, kind of messy, kind of something like what I already have going on, so I'm not gonna change my hair much. And as for the clothing, that part these are some outfit inspirations that I found on Google that are a great representation of what Damon Salvatore wears. Okay, so now I'm gonna put together an outfit and we already got the hair and grooming stuff down. Now we're gonna put together an outfit that would work perfectly for Damon Salvatore that you guys can recreate. Now I'm gonna make two different outfits for two different price points. One is probably the price point Damon would wear it at and the second price point which the average person can afford. So keep in mind, he wears a lot of blacks, a lot of grays. It has to be well fitted. All his clothes are tailored. So for jeans, I got these gray jeans from Zara and they're like 50 bucks. And then these St. Laurent jeans, both are great options. Moving on to the top, I got this shirt from All Saints. This is more of a dressy look. Otherwise, I just got a black t-shirt. This one's from Lululemon. It's $50. Just get anything plain. He doesn't wear too much flashy stuff. I feel like this is something you wear in the gym though the tank top i'm wearing as for boots he always wear boots so these are chelsea boots from spring also wearing some type of jewelry like a ring is the obvious choice but i'm personally not a ring guy but if you are i definitely recommend getting a silver ring or gold if you got money like that moving on one thing you should absolutely invest in is a leather jacket no matter what he is wearing this all the time in the show and this is something you need if you're trying to be like Damon Salvatore. Now the best brands to get a leather jacket are All Saints or Diesel, but they're going to be pricey. So if you want to price down, just get a, any leather jacket, then go to Zara or H&M. They're going to have, it's not going to be the best quality. It's not going to look the best, but for meantime, while well, you save up for the big one, but... Uh, 
honestly, I would say just buy the bit, buy a nice leather jacket once because it will last you forever and it'll be your statement piece that's gonna bring the whole outfit together. Now I'll show you some of my favorite ones. Okay, so this one is actually the exact one Damon wears in the show. So he wears this exact one. I don't know if it's the same brand, but it looks exactly the same. He wears this one in the show. So this is one that's from All Saints, a great option. Otherwise, this is another great option. So this one, the next one I'm gonna show you is also kind of like exactly like the one he wears. It's a black one. So these are two of my personal favorite ones. Let me know if you end up buying one and if you need help on leather or if you just want a video on leather jackets alone because I love leather jackets and this smells so cool. And then this clone over here, Tom Ford Ombre Leather is 400 bucks, but I bet you this would be the clone and the scent of Damon Salvatore. Now that we got the outfit and the hair and the physical part of the portion out of the way, we're gonna talk more about the physical body transformation that you might have to make. Now, lucky for you guys, Damon Salvatore has a really, really achievable physique. Like he is lean, but not crazy lean. He has muscle, but not a lot of muscle. So realistically, depending on your starting point, you can maximum, like the time it should take you is a year to look like Damon Salvatore. If you put in the work, and the thing is, you don't even have to put in that much work. Like, it takes like, okay, a great example is look at Ian Sumerholder, the actor who plays him now. Like he is jacked. So back then he probably wasn't even working out like he is now. So what I recommend you do is I'm gonna give you a full workout plan that only consists of three workouts a week. That's all you have to do. And I'm gonna list it at the bottom and it's gonna be in two different ways. You can do a home workout style or in the gyms or uh, in gym style both ways are gonna work because he really has a body that is achievable by just doing body weight exercises especially if you have good genetics so that's what i recommend you do do the workouts below and as for the diets i make tons of videos about diet for losing fat gaining weight so subscribe to get those and guys since i gave you this free plan in the bio subscribe to the channel and follow my Instagram, DannyLalem underscore, for more awesome content. But yeah, for the physical portion, it should not take you too long to achieve a physique like Damon Salvatore. Now I want to come in better lighting to show you the jawline aspect. Now the jawline is super important to become Damon because that's something a lot of people talk about. He had a really, really strong jaw. And as you see, uh, I got my, my jaw a lot stronger than it was before. If you want to do that, you're going to have to lose body fat. And that is the best and only way to get a sharper jawline. Okay, the last thing you're going to have to change in order to become Damon Salvatore is going to be, you're going to have to change your personality a bit to more align with this. Now, it doesn't mean becoming a new person or anything like that. It's more so about bringing your inner Damon out of you. Now, what that means for me, what that can mean for you are different things. But here's a good example of, before we actually break it down, of what Damon Salvatore's personality is. Damon, germaphobe. Oh, don't get flood on the couch. Please. Yoo-hoo! Big bad vampire out here. Here I thought she slept standing up like a horse. Don't worry, Care Bear. I have issued a no hanky panky zone. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm, no how. This is the face I make when I don't understand you. The coolest cucumber. I don't know why that always makes me smile. Take off your shirt. Lena, there are children present. From the videos we just saw, the things that uh, the key things that I'm taking away is that he is very confident and he's confident in being himself. So those are two things you should focus on at all times anyways, is being confident, walking with that confidence, and then being your true self, like saying what you want to say, doing what you want to do, and that's attractive. That is very attractive and that's why you should focus that on your life, even if you're not trying to be Damon. So those are the two points. And the third one is that he's really sarcastic. He's funny, he's quippy. Now stuff like that, that 
has that you can't just bring that out same with the confidence stuff that's easier but it's still not going to come right away the quippiness the sarcasm that's going to take even more time for you especially if you're someone who doesn't do it for me it came more naturally but even then i've been developing that in me for like years on years on end watching people like ryan reynolds and just watching stuff like that and just practicing what I found really helped me was working in a job that was sales. So I worked at sporting goods store and I got to meet a lot of people, a lot of customers. And from there, I got to get better at talking to people, being quippy and being timing. Timing is so important when you're talking to someone about when you do a joke, when you land a certain thing you say, being flirty. That's also in there and being touching in the right places at the right times. It's a really big thing to navigate towards and it's going to be hard especially if you're new to it but it's literally just through practicing and if you want to see me do videos about each specific thing i just talked about let me know in the comments below i hope this helps you out i hope you're banging on your goals to look like damon salvatore and i hope you get a elena to match your damon because you know that is couple goals and i think we all agree that we all need a power girl like elena honestly elena was a bit much Catherine's more my type but we'll leave that for another time so if you enjoy this video again let me know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel and we make videos about fitness fashion lifestyle also we're posting on instagram two to three times a week now posting here daily full videos three times a week so subscribe to get that follow the ig and other than that i will see you guys in the next one